since you all like the video that I made, here is 5 more recommended gacha games that is old and kind of new in a way. So please do enjoy this one. War of Division Final Fantasy Brave XVS. This game is a classic, in my opinion at least. So if you love tactical RPGs or JRPGs, I think this is the gacha game for you. It plays really similar to Final Fantasy Tactics, this Gaia or any other tactic games and it has auto mode. I think it has a good quality of life and it has a good beginner player experience or even returning player experience because I tried this like a couple of months ago and I kind of enjoy myself and I have this feeling that I want to stick to this game like I want to commit to this game but unfortunately I cannot commit to this game because I didn't get cloud to max level and it was kind of frustrating because the limited gacha the limited hero for this game is quite expensive but the game is still pretty enjoyable and it has a lot of content so if you want to try it, go ahead and give it a go. War of the Vision, Final Fantasy, Brave XVS is a good game to play. That ominous purple energy, could it be? Ow! Hey, that hurts! You're even louder than you look! Summoner's War Chronicle. So when the game was first released, I was quite skeptical because it is a Summoner's War franchise, guys. And what we all know from Summoner's War is that the gacha is super horrendous and it is worse than Honkai Star Rail or even Genshin Impact. But when I tried this game, man was I so wrong. The gameplay is so enjoyable. Your party is made from four members. The first one is gonna be your main character and the three others are gonna be your summons. And the gameplay is super nice. It is in real time. So if you guys like real time combat, um, this game is for you. And of course, if you really wanna play your gacha game, I think this is the game for you because if you are going through the story and you wanna fight into the dungeon, you cannot play this with auto. So, it is worth checking out, it is worth playing, it is on Steam, it is on your mobile, and you can get 120 FPS on Steam, so I think that's a nice touch. Even unlimited cap FPS. And not to mention the summon is quite generous with this one. So yeah, try this game out, you might like it. And it's, and it's free. I hurt you. The wind will protect everyone. Rise of Heroes. This game is a bit niche in my opinion, but this game has a good animation, has a good styling. I don't know why they made it a gacha game and not an action RPG because just look at that animation. And if you are asking if this game has some sex scenes, yes, they do have it. Um, I'm not gonna show it to you guys right here because I don't want to get demonetized. Go check this out yourself. It is also on Steam, which is very surprising. And I played this one on Steam because it looks the best. PC port will always look the best for any gacha game. So if you ask me if I have fun playing this game, yes, I did. Not because of the sex scenes, okay? Not because of that. Trust me, guys. Trust me. It is just a fun game to play, and it is quite underrated. So please, check this game out. It's a good game. It's a good gacha game. And they do tell you to lower the volume before the sex scenes. Kudos to the developer for this game. So yeah, check this game out. It's a good one.
Octopath Traveler. You all know what this game is. I mean, I don't need to explain more about this game. This game is on Switch, this game is on PC. Because this game is so popular, they made this game into a mobile game. Well, for what? For money, of course. But this game is staying true to the predecessor, to the Octopath Traveler that's on PC. So I don't mind at all. This game plays really well. It plays the same as, of course, the one that's on PC, Octopath Traveler on PC. So I don't think I need to explain this to you guys more. I really love Octopath's animation, visuals, effects. They're all really, really retro, but they really modernize the style of the game. So it's a really good gacha game, people still play that game a lot, and go give it a go. It is on my recommended list, so why not? The last but not the least, it is Grand Saga. The only foreign gacha game on the list. But man, I love playing this game. Well, I used to love playing this game. Because the visuals, the stunning animation, the story, even though I don't really know, but look at that. It looks very animated. And of course, the character design of this game. Well, it's an open world gacha anime RPG as always. The grinding is a bit tough. I wouldn't say it's not free to play friendly. I mean, you can get a lot of freebies from the developer or just from the event. Now, this game, it has been announced that they will come globally. But we still don't know yet, we don't have any more announcement for global release. So I don't have anything to talk about in that department because I don't really know myself. But if there's more info of this game, of course I will cover it more because man, I love this game. I really wish they're gonna bring it globally because I tried asking for the patcher or any English translator but we still don't have it yet. So please release it globally thank you very much okay that's pretty much about this video um five more recommended gacha games on my list again thank you guys so much for watching this video as always have fun keep enjoying your games and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys <laughs> Let's go!